Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and in this video we're going to learn how to read and interpret a cumulative normal distribution table. There are really just a couple of steps to this. First thing you're going to do is convert your value of x to a z-score using the z-score formula. We're then going to locate the z-score in our table, but most importantly is we're going to interpret the area from the table in the context of the question that you've been asked to answer. So we have a value of x and the z-score associated with it is calculated to be a positive 1.25. Question is, what's the area under the normal curve associated with that z-score of 1.25? We know it's 1.25 standard deviations above the mean, but what is the area associated with that? All right, so we have the portion of our cumulative table that contains our positive z-values. And so we had a z of 1.25, so we're going to begin in this column and we're going to find the 1.2. Now we need the 0.05 and we're going to find that in this column. So the area under the table is going to be where the two intersect. So we go 1.2 we come all the way over to our 5, come all the way down, and we're, we see that we're at 0.8944. So that 89.44% of our data is the area located below the Z of 1.25, or this area that's shaded in blue. So if you had been asked, what's the probability that X is less than a value, then you would have your area right there for you. But what if the question asked you, what's the probability that x is greater than that value? So we know that the total area under the curve is equal to 1. So I can just take that 1 minus my 0.8944. And what that's going to give me is it's going to give me this area in this upper tail, which is going to be equal to 0.1056. So again, interpret these areas in the context of the question you've been asked. So what if we have a z-score associated with a value of x and it's calculated to be a negative 2.00? What area under the curve is associated with that negative z-score of 2.00? Again, you already know it's two standard deviations below the mean because it's a negative z-score, but what area are we talking about? So now we have the portion of our cumulative table for negative z-values, and we're going to do it the same way. We're going to say negative 2.0 is going to be this row, and that 0, .00 is going to be this column, so where the two intersect is going to be your area associated with that z of negative 2.00. And again, the way this cumulative table functions right, is we know that that 0.0288 is the area to the left or below our calculated z-score. So as long as you had been asked, what's the probability that x is less than a value, you'd be OK with this area. But if you needed the area above that value, again, we're simply going to take 1 minus the 0 0.0288. And that's going to give us this area here. And so we know that that's going to be 0 0.9772. So we use the characteristics of the normal curve in conjunction with these cumulative normal distribution tables in order to be able to answer virtually any question that you've been asked. So hopefully by now you are a normal distribution table ninja and that you found this useful and I thank you so much for watching.